In this short video, I will demonstrate simulation of single phase AC voltage controller in MATLAB. It is a circuit diagram of a basic single phase voltage controller with resistive load, and it controls the voltage, current, and average power delivered to an AC load from an AC source. As you can notice, the electronic switches are shown as parallel thyristors and it makes it possible to have current in either directions in the load. This thyristor's connection is called as inverse parallel or anti-parallel because they carry current in opposite directions. During positive half cycle, these thyristors start conducting, while during negative half cycle, this one will start conducting. Both positive and negative half cycles will be presented at the load. So as a result, we will obtain an AC voltage at the output. And the output voltage will be controlled by these two thyristors. So now let's move to the MATLAB simulink uh, to see how can we simulate in MATLAB and get similar waveforms like this. During positive half cycle, S1 conducts after the firing angle alpha. And during negative half cycle, S2 conducts after the firing angle, uh, which is pi plus alpha. As you can notice, the input voltage source is AC and the output is AC as well, but uh, not a complete sinusoidal. And that is because of the thyristors, uh, which control the output waveform. If the firing angle is zero, the output voltage will be the same as input voltage. So now let's get started in MATLAB Simulink. Go to the library browser. We need an AC voltage source. So here type AC voltage source and add this block. Next add thyristor. Then add series RLC branch for the load. When this is done, uh, we need a pulse generator block and the signal will be applied to thyristors. To measure input voltage, output voltage and current, uh, we need to add voltage measurement and current measurement. Finally, add a scope to see the types of waveform. Now arrange them in the appropriate position. We need one more thyristor. No need to go to the library browser again. So first select it. By pressing control key, you will get the copy. Hold control key plus R to rotate it. Connect them similar to our circuit diagram. Put current measurement series to load to measure the output current. Connect voltage measurement block parallel to input voltage and load uh, to measure the input and output voltage. Next double click on AC voltage source, enter 120 square root of 2. Phase angle is 0. Uh, give frequency according to the country you live. Simple time is 0. Apply. OK. Double click on series RLC branch. Change branch type to R since we are going to simulate the circuit with resistive load. Enter 15 ohm in this case. When this is done, we need to create pulse generators. We need two gate signals. Name this one as gate 1 and this one as gate 2. Double click on gate 1. No need to change the amplitude. 
but the period is one over frequency and the frequency which we selected was 50 hertz so 1 over 50 is equal to 0 0.02 second let's put the pulse width as it is default value for phase delay uh, suppose that our firing angle is 80 degree so to calculate the phase delay uh, period which is 0 0.02 second multiply it with alpha ratio which is equal to alpha over 360 and the alpha is 80 degree it is for the first thyristor similarly for gate 2 signal period is 0 0.02 uh, pulse weight is 5 and the delay angle for the second thyristor is alpha plus pi uh, which is 80 plus 180 uh, equal to 260 degree so 0 0.02 multiplied by 260 over 360 connect gate 1 signal to t1 thyristor and connect gate 2 signal to t2 thyristor here i am using good from block uh, you can use wire to connect them directly it is up to you Uh, name it as G1 and G2. If you put your cursor next to goat block, uh, you will get a target from block. Connect it. Similarly, do for this block. Since we are going to visualize the waveforms of the input voltage, output voltage, output current, and pulse generators. So we need 5 input ports in the scope. Double click on the scope. Go to the configuration properties. Put number of input ports to 5. Apply. OK. Then create 5 blank areas. As we are going to see 5 waveforms. Now connect them. Again, I will use go to from block. Uh, you can use wire to connect them directly. Once you're done with the connection, save your design. I'm going to give name as AC uh, voltage controller. Finally, change simulation time to 0 0.1 to see the waveforms clearly. Then run the circuit. Uh, oops, uh, there is an error. Uh, let us read the error message. The diagram must contain a power GUI block. Yes, I am sorry, and uh, I didn't put power GUI block. And it is necessary for any simulating model containing Simscape electrically specialized power system block. Now let us run again. Yes, the error is eliminated. To observe the waveforms, uh, you have to double click on the scope. Yes, that is how we get the exact waveforms as we expected. It is the input voltage waveform and this is the first waveform of gate 1 signal and this is the second one uh, which cannot conduct simultaneously. These two waveforms are the output voltage. Uh, and the output current. As you can notice, the load voltage is the same as the source voltage, 
when either tire store is on and the load voltage and current is zero when both tire stores are off here you can clearly see that the positive half cycle conduct after firing angle alpha which is 80 degree and the negative half cycle conduct after phi plus alpha i hope it is clear and understood thanks for watching